some time to introduce you to Melodic Motion Etude number 47. This is taken from a line in Johann Sebastian Bach's Cello Suite number 2 in D minor from the Prelude. Just a short line that I'll show you. And I've extended it now through the key with a little modulation and see how you like it. If you've not yet done so, I would appreciate it very much if you would subscribe. Please like and share and leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. If you'd care to leave me a tip, that would be very nice. And my PayPal information is there in the description below. So we're going to start here. The original phrase from the cello suite. So I started to look for extensions. This is the idea of we're starting from the third of the chord. Three, four, five seven, in this case flat seven, and then one. Then in order to set up the next sequence, I decided to put a little tail on it. And that will lead us to the next. So I'll go through and try to explain these. We're going to start down here so we have more guitar to work with. So we're going to end up with a major 7 here. E, F sharp, G, B, C. 2, 4, 5, 4, 3 is the frets. And then we're going to come down B, A, G. And that is going to be a step above where we we start the next. So now we have F sharp, G, A, 4, 5, 7, and now we have flat 7, and the root here on the 5th fret, 4, 5, 7, 5, 5, and we come down C, B, A, from 5th to 4th to 7th fret. I kept the one from Bach in E7 so that we can get a little spice here. I'm going to come down. It would resolve to A minor. You can hear that resolution, I hope. And now we're going to switch to something Bach often does, even though we had we had F sharp here in our line. We had F sharp here. I'm taking this opportunity of this E7 to, to nice, hit that nice F note there. So this is A Make sure I did this one. Six, seven, nine, seven, seven. So the fingering works all kinds of ways. You could you always have the option of going below the root or above the root. In this case, I like this kind of thing. I just try to find connected fingerings that sound legato. So that's fingers one, two, three, three, one, two, four, three, two. And then three, one, four fingers. Six, seven, nine, seven, 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 five, nine. And now we got A, B, C. Seven, nine, ten. 
10, 9, 8. And we're going to come down. E, D, C, 9, 7, 10. Now we got G7. And again, I'd recommend that fingering with second and third fingers working. 9, 10, 12, third finger, 10th fret, third string. And then G, 10th fret, fifth string. And we're coming down. 10, 9, 12. Here's a little A minor, C, D, E, G, A. I like these little tails. G, F, E. And now we got one more. Sounds like G7. D, E, F, A. B. There's G. And that would, we'd go to C if we want, but 12, 14, 15, 14, 14. That's D, E, F, A, B, A, G, F. And that E means C major. We can put the C in if we want on the 15th fret, but now part of improvising this style and learning these harmonies is intuiting the sound of the fundamental C when we hear and intuit that C note. Boom, hear it. It's a structural kind of hearing. We're hearing the structure. The notes are all painting colors in a particular way that yield the sound of. So that's not a chord in as much as the notes are being played separately, but taken together. So I hope this finds you well, enjoying your music. Maybe this has been something interesting for you. I certainly hope so. Let me know if you have questions. Please leave comments, share, like I said. Happy if you stayed this long. I appreciate your kind attention. And I do wish you, as always, a very good day.